بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Good afternoon or good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, My name is Jasim Al Majid I am the Vice President of uh, Information Technology in uh, Malaha uh, In our agenda today we will be talking about digital transformation uh, I'll make sure that we don't talk uh, technical, so we will only talk about business and how we can transfer uh, your business using the digital uh, transformation strategy. We'll be talking about what is digital transformation, what is the process of reaching a digital transformation, what drives the digit, uh, digital tra transformation, and at the end, we will talk about our experience with Melaha and uh, our digital transformation journey. Uh, before we start, we just need to uh, have uh, little definitions because there are so many uh, times people are uh, confused between different uh, naming or different definitions. Uh, we want to talk about digitali digitization, digitalization, and digital transformation. So first of all, to start, we will talk about digital uh, digitization, uh, which is moving from analog to uh, digital. This process is to convert the information, uh, text, picture, sound, video, into digital form uh, format. As you know, uh, in the older days, people used to use uh, paper, used to use uh, files, folders uh, to save their data. Uh, when the technology came, people transfer this uh, information or this data or text into digital format and they save, saved it in uh, uh, systems or saved it in, in, in uh, uh, databases. Okay. To use this data, digitized data that we already stored, we need to uh, use digitalization. Okay. So digitalization is using the digital data to simplify our work. Uh, usually people, when they say uh, before digitalization, which is uh, having systems to uh, uh, use this data, they use to just save uh, information the way they save it in regular and real life. For example, uh, if they have information about uh, a car, they will put it in a folder called car. If they have information about a person, they will put it in, uh, in, a, in a folder called a person. But we needed a technology or we needed a system to access this data. So we have uh, uh, digitalization as the system that will access this digital data. So with that, we improve the process by leveraging the uh, digital technology and digitized data. Okay. So now we have systems, we have uh, data, uh, stored data, but we need to transfer it to the business. We need to have a better business. We need the business to uh, use this data in a way that it will uh, make things better. So we get to the digital transformation. So digital transformation is business transformation enabled by digital, uh, digitalization, which mean you have your business ready or you are going to have a business, but you needed the help of, from technology to enable you to do better business. Okay. So we'll get more into uh, into it. Uh, you know, we'll talk about what is the digi digital transformation. Okay, and as you know, so far we have not talked about uh, uh, technology. We have not talked about uh, technical stuff. So digital transformation is the process of using digital technologies to create a new or modify existing business process, culture, and customer experience. What do, you, what do you mean by that? 
say you have your business ready or you are going to create a business, you will need to use digital transformation to uh, help, to get help from digital technology to either modify your business process, current business process, or create a new business process. It create a new culture. Uh, what I mean by culture, for example, people used to uh, go to stores uh, to buy things. Now, the new culture is people uh, use their phone and uh, their um, internet to order things. So this is the change in culture. This is what I mean, change in culture. People uh, used to do things, now it has, uh, you know, it's changed because of uh, digital uh, uh, transformation. Also, customer experience. Customers used to go and have face-to-face -face, uh, interaction with business. Now they have face-to-face, -face, but not uh, in person. Now, for example, we are talking uh, to people in Qatar and people maybe outside of Qatar using the technology. So this is a customer experience that we are talking about. So why we have uh, digital transformation? Business is changing. Market is changing. There is market requirements that need to be met. So you need to transfer. You need to you know uh, transfer your business. I don't mean transfer digital transformation, buying faster computer or or having a, a new system. You need to transfer your business from what it is right now to something better. Okay, the recreation of business in digital age is the digital transformation. So it's recreation of business. Okay. There are six steps to reach to, uh, or steps for digital transformation. First of all, you need to identify your transformation objectives. What is my target outcome? Today, I have a business. I need to reduce cost. I need to simplify business process. I need to have loyalty. I need to retain customers. So what's the objectives of my transformation? Okay. So you don't want to just do that for a transformation for the sake of it or because it's, you know, everybody's doing it. No, you need to know what is your objectives. Once you know what's your objectives, now you need to study the technology that is uh, the technology enabler in the market. So I have objectives. I need to use technology. So what to do? I, you know, don't do it yourself. You don't have to do it to yourself. Go outside in the market, look for consultants, look for uh, experts, look for friends who have knowledge, and they will show you uh, what is there from technology. So you don't have to, to know that much about technology, but at least you have an objectives and you know that there are available technology that you want to use, for example, intelligent automation, uh, Internet of Things, mobility. So the, the consultants or the, uh, you know, people who will help you or people who know technology, they will support you and uh, looking at the technology that is available to reach your objectives. Uh, another thing is you have to know or you have to envision what is your future platform. Okay, so you want you have an objective to do something, and you have technology to do it. So where we are going to reach? How is my business going to be after I uh, transform, or after I use technology? Is it going to be the same, or is it going to be different? So you need to envision how this technology uh, will help you, and what is uh, at the end of it? How you your business will be. Uh, another thing is you need to master your digital service life, life cycle. So you have technology and uh, you have objectives. Now you have to think about how as well as what. For example, 
how do I reach uh, my goals? How do I reduce cost using technology? Okay. How do I uh, have more customer base using technology? Okay. So you need to you know, talk about the how, not just the what. What you are doing, yes. You, you, know, you need to know what you are doing and uh, what it will be, but you also need to know how. You have to think about the how. Okay. Another thing is organize uh, for digital business innovation. Not all of your business will be uh, digitized. No, not all of your business will be transferred. So you have to organize your, your, your business where, okay, I have some area where it is, it needs process re-engineer. I have another area where I need to add a new technology. I have third area, which I don't think I will do it now, but I will do it in the future. So you have to put all of this together and you have, again, you have to look and, and, and how is it going to be? You have to envision how the, your business is going to be. And lastly, and the most important one is whatever you are doing in digital transformation, it's a journey, okay? So it's not going to happen one day. It's not gonna happen uh, 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 in a week or two, but you need to be fast. Okay? You need to be agile in executing this journey to move to the uh, future platform. Because if you don't do it, your competitor will do it. Yeah. So you need to be, uh, to be agile, you need to be fast, but you need to make sure that you understand that nothing is going to happen in one day. Okay. To understand more about uh, uh, you know, digital, transformation, uh, we'll talk about two group of companies, the companies who used the, uh, or utilized the digital transformation, or, you know, uh, and the company who failed to use and utilize the digital transformation. So we'll give some example. For example, Kodak company, everybody know Kodak is, uh, it's a big company for uh, cameras, and for films, you know, if you talk about the new generation, for example, you tell them that there is a 35 millimeter films, they would not even know because it's not in their, uh, in their time. So Kodak, when the digital age came up and digital camera was there, Kodak did not use the uh, digital transformation. They did not change their process. They did not change the way they do business. They got stuck with their films and with their camera. And, you know, how many of you have heard about Kodak these days? Uh, they are not there anymore. Uh, Polaroid, uh, Polaroid Corporation, you know, these are the cameras that uh, uses uh, technology or techniques in the older films to have an instant photos. They used a transfer. They transfer their, their, their uh, process from uh, regular films to instant uh, or to a film where you can have your instant photos. Yes, but that's uh, where they stopped. They did not uh, transfer. They did not change. They did not adopt the uh, technology. They tried uh, a few years ago, but they did not reach uh, that many audience because people are not really uh, into instant photos. Another company, Blackbuster, Blackbuster uh, Inc., which is uh, video and cassette uh, rental stores, those companies in the United States where, you know, if you go to any city, you will have at least 10 of them. They are everywhere because people, if they want to go and uh, instead of going to the movies uh, or the, to the cinema, they will go to uh, the blockbuster where you have variety of uh, 
films and CDs, you rent the film, that you have a membership, you rent the film, and after three days, you have to return it back. Again, they did not think about digital uh, movies. They did not think about streaming. They just stuck with the same old uh, way of doing business. They did not transfer their business. Uh, another example is Borders Group, which is uh, uh, bookstores. Okay, same thing. You where do you buy uh, books in the uh, in the past? Where you go, you have to go to the bookstores and buy books. Uh, not anymore. People don't go to bookstores to buy books. Okay, uh, people may go buy uh, technology. They buy other things, but they don't buy books anymore from bookstores. There are other ways of buying books. We will talk about it in, in the, uh, with the other companies. Uh, uh, you know, we'll go out, you know, uh, for other companies, for example, Yahoo. Yahoo is a search engine. It used to be number one. What happened to it? They did not transfer. They did not uh, change their, the way to do business. They did not add services. So Yahoo is still there. If you go and write yahoo.com, it's still there, still do uh, searching. You still have uh, email, but that's their limit. They have not added services. They did not do any uh, uh, transfer of their of their of their business of their process. Uh, Toys R Us, same thing. You know, they are depending on the on the stores. Uh, Motorola, Nokia, BlackBerry. Those are the companies, uh, technology companies or mobile companies that they did not change. They were doing the same thing. They did not move ahead with the uh, uh, new technology or they did not transfer to the new technology. Now, let's talk about the companies that really use the digital transformation. Netflix. Netflix is the competitor of Blockbuster. What Netflix did first, they said, okay, and instead of you going to the store, you can order your videos, and we deliver it to you uh, at home. Okay, but then at that time the the internet was slow, so they could not do streaming. When the internet became faster and it's available to everybody, they change. Now you can uh, video stream from anywhere, and not just that they have also embedded some artificial intelligence into their streaming. For example, they know, you know, for example, Jasm has seen this movie and I am sure he will like this other movie. Or Jasm have seen uh, three movies about certain things and I'm sure he will see something else. So they use stream uh, streaming and at the same time, they use in uh, artificial intelligence. And they are also progressing. They are changing every day. Okay, So th they are successful. Amazon Bookstore, which is, uh, you know, when they started, they were only selling book, book, uh, books. So you order the books, and the books come to you, uh, videos, uh, and uh, books and videos, actually, and uh, records, uh, audio records. What they have done is they started with selling things coming to your house. Right now, they are streaming this kind of things. Uh, you can buy, you can, you can buy uh, an audio book or you can buy e-book. Okay? So you don't have to have a, a, an actual paper back book. You will have. You can have uh, an ebook. You can read it at any time. You can even lend it to your friends, uh, and it's much cheaper. And uh, you can have it anywhere you go, and it doesn't take space. So they thought about the, the uh, transformation. They change their process. They change the way they do business because they know what's the market want. They know how people react. Another example, Nike. 
Uh, this is the shoe, uh, the sports uh, uh, selling uh, company. What they did is they, you know, they have the same the same uh, equipment, the same uh, products. They did not put it in a store. What they did is they went directly to customers. Okay, so they are selling directly to customers. They changed the way the process, uh, you know, of selling things. So, you know, here that we are not talking about technology. We are only talking about the way they, they do things, the way they change their uh, process. Another big company here that really utilized the digital uh, transformation is Uber. Uber does not own a car, okay? Uber only owns a software a technology okay. and uber has two customers the drivers as customer and the people who are going to ride as a customers and of course you know uh, it is you know helping both sides helping the customers and the drivers and they don't have to worry about cars they don't have to worry about insurance they don't have to worry about maintenance okay so they're only using uh, technology for that. Uh, another company, Airbnb, this is a competitor for booking.com. The only difference here, Airbnb is uh, renting, house, uh, renting uh, rooms inside people's houses. They are not renting ho uh, hotels and uh, uh, other big companies, they are renting rooms inside people uh, houses and now booking.com uh, is doing the same thing actually because uh, a big uh, chunk of the market went uh, to airbnb now if you can see uh, uh, the uh, successful stories of these companies these companies has to con they have to continue uh, updating themselves. They have to continue transforming. Otherwise, somebody else will come. And I can guarantee you, for example, Netflix. Now, uh, you have Apple TV, uh, you have uh, Amazon Prime, and you have other companies. Those in five, 10 years may not be here if they don't update themselves. And even if they update, update themselves, maybe other companies, they have better uh, product. So they also have to change, you know, uh, update their product. So the companies that don't respond to market changes brought by innovation tend to miss out on opportunities. And I hope, you know, well, with your business, a small business or a, a medium business, you have to be, uh, you know, innovative, you have to think about a new technology, you have to talk, think about a new process, you have to think about a new product, uh, and you have to, to always update yourself. Okay, uh, I purposely put that uh, examples before we continue, because now you have an idea about what uh, uh, you know, digital transformation and how it helps you. And if you don't do it, if you don't transfer your business, what will happen to you like the companies that did not, uh, uh, you know, transfer, did not change. So you, for, for, for uh, digital transformation, you need to have a driver. So what's a drive? drivers in digitalization and digital transformation, okay? Three things, the basic desire to make work better for everyone, okay? So why you transfer? Because you want to make things better. You want to make things better for your customers. You want to make things better for your uh, employees. You want to make things better uh, for your stakeholders. So it doesn't have to always be customers, but Again, your employees also customers. So the word better is 
the driver for the uh, digital transformation. Another thing is business need to compete for and when customers. You don't need just to compete for customers. You don't want to get uh, customers to come and visit, let's say, your website. You need your cust the customer to visit your website, buy from your website. You need your customer to visit, buy, and come back, back again and buy again. So you need to uh, make sure that you are you want the customers. Okay. Another thing is, of course, you want uh, more customers while spending less money. And uh, the whole thing is all about making money. Uh, if you are uh, doing the uh, digi digital transformation uh, just for the fun of it, please don't do it because it's costly. It's not. It's nothing. You know. Uh, that you know that you do every day, uh, you do uh, the transformation to make money, okay? But you do it also to save money, okay? Let's take an example. For example, marketing. The way marketing is done these days is you know people will have, for example, uh, brochures and they will go and put it in, in uh, top of the car or they will. Uh, put it in the, uh, by the door or uh, in the newspaper or, you know, uh, the, while you are walking, they will give you uh, brochures. This is the old way of doing things. Yes, it's work, you know, it's not always it's bad. It's You just need to make it better. So what do you do now for marketing, for example, is use technology. Social media is the best place for uh, marketing. Uh, you can market your 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 uh, uh, product and uh, Instagram and uh, and uh, Facebook, and with having this uh, advertisement and uh, those social media uh, social media provider, you can also get a lot of information. They will provide you a lot of information. For example, they can tell you. While you have your ad, only people from Qatar have clicked. Only people from Qatar have clicked in your ad from seven o'clock to nine o'clock, or most of the people, you know, from seven to nine o'clock. Uh, most of the people who clicked from seven to nine uh, have also clicked somewhere else. Okay. So it will give you, uh, you know, uh, statistics. It will give you data that you can analyze. Uh, for example, uh, if you are selling things for the weekend, people are not going to come on Sunday and click in your, uh, in your advertisement. They will click on Wednesday because Wednesday is closer to the, week, to the weekend. But how would you get this information? You will get this information from the uh, the suppliers or from uh, product suppliers okay for example from facebook from uh, yeah, instagram they will give you this information at the same time see while you are uh, marketing you will have a close relationship with your uh, customers because now you are with them 24 7 they can reach you at any time. You can reach them at any time. So using technology and using social media for marketing, you know, it's of course less money and you are getting customer and you are give, providing better services for, uh, for your customers. So they can reach you. Okay. Now there are nine uh, points to have successful uh, digital transformation or to be uh, to succeed in digital transformation you have this uh, nine uh, points that you need to take care of first of all as we said know what you are, you want to do okay what is different than today Okay, you are doing business today. 
how is it going to be different tomorrow? If it's not going to be any different, then don't do it. You know, again, you are not, you know, it's not a, a, a fun to just spend your time and uh, spend your money for something that uh, for the same thing. So you want to have, you, you need to know what is going to be different tomorrow. Is it going to be a process difference? Is it going to be technology difference? Is it going to be culture difference? You have to know. Second thing is plan how to reach your goals. Okay. What step do you need to reach there? If I am looking, for example, uh, to provide a service to customers, I need to know how to get to that customers. Is it through marketing? Is it through uh, social media? Is it through uh, mobile? Uh, so you need to know how to get there, how to reach your goal. What do I need? Do I need what type of technology do I need to reach my goal? What type of process do I need to change to reach my goals? Okay. And once you reach your goal, of course, your goal is always customers. Excel in customer experience. Okay. Don't do something that does not excite your customers. Don't do something that the customer can find somewhere else. Okay, you spend a lot of time, a lot of money for transfer uh, to to digital transformation. Okay, where customers are not really interested, or they are not excited. So you have to make sure that whatever you are going to do, you need to excite your customers. And you know, this is. This is the main thing for uh, business. Figure out how to make money. Yeah? So why will customers pay for your new digital product? You are going to offer this product. I don't mean digital, new digital products uh, as in technology. I mean uh, uh, any product, okay? Uh, any. Uh, Product does not have to be something material, maybe a service. So why would customer pay for your service? Let's say your service may be consulting, uh, medical consultation services. Okay. So why would your customer pay for it? Because they need that, maybe, because you have uh, more uh, offers, maybe, Maybe you have a better look on your website. Maybe you are not talking technical, maybe, but you have to figure out. So it's your business. You have to figure out how to make money. And if you have medium size company, you need to transform the whole company. Digital process across functions involve everyone. For example, if you are uh, having three systems, let's say uh, uh, payroll system and purchase system, and you have warehouse uh, system, okay? there are connection between these systems. So you need to have a process between all these three systems. And you need to involve everybody in these three systems whenever you are doing anything. For example, you need to have your financial people look at your website. Okay. Maybe they have something that you, you did not think about. Uh, have your uh, purchase uh, manager look at your uh, process. Maybe there is something in your uh, digital transformation or in your, in your system that it does not fit the uh, functionality of purchase. So you have to make sure everybody is involved. And another thing is you have to make sure that uh, to share data across the, the company. Okay, So you need integrated system. You don't need, I mean, if you have, an, uh, let's say, car company 
rental car and you have an HR system. There has to be a link between your car and the HR because related to the, to the car, you will see the drivers, you will see the people who are maintaining the cars, you will see uh, the sales. Okay. So those three people will, will have the data and the HR system while the data for the cars will be in the in the uh, automobile system but you need to share the data so you can get out of, uh, with with the uh, objective uh, that you are looking for or to the point where you are looking for okay. uh, three more things that are really i think these are the very important uh, ones okay adapt and innovate quickly keep adapting to changes things will change you know people behavior will change your customers will change okay so keep adapting to changes for example we have the corona uh, uh, pandemic uh, what happened? People changed. People went from uh, meeting in a room to a meeting, uh, uh, you know, using uh, technology. Uh, another thing is you need to train your people in new skills. So, okay, uh, for example, let's say you have a tea boy. You need to train him in using technology. Why not? You know, you can order something uh, for a tea using your computer or your WhatsApp or so you need to uh, involve everybody you need to teach everybody and you need to teach everybody in new skills also okay and the most important one that I always keep uh, talking about is stay up to date keep your eye on what is happening around the world okay if you don't update yourself, your, your, your uh, customers will leave you and your competitor will be ahead of you. Okay, uh, there is a question. Uh, uh, what is, uh, what is me robotic automation? How can we use this technology and uh, freight forward forward in, uh, industry? Okay, uh, we will talk about this. Uh, just give me, uh, you know, I will give this example when I talk about Milaha because in Milaha we are talking about uh, about uh, logistics and we are talking about the uh, uh, freight forward in, uh, company. So we'll talk uh, and what uh, the RBA uh, means. Okay, so now I, I hope you understand what is the digital transformation. Uh, if you have any other question, otherwise we will go uh, to uh, an example of what Milaha uh, 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 digital transformation uh, journey. Uh, Actually, I led this journey of uh, Melaha since the begin, beginning. So, uh, uh, you know, we can start. If you don't have any other question, okay, okay. Uh, where did we start from? Uh, actually, uh, first of all, uh, let me talk about Melaha. Melaha is uh, established in 1957 and uh, it was the first uh, you know uh, company that is registered so in Malaha we hold the number one uh, commercial registration number one and our business at that time when we started it was stevedoring it was uh, you know shipping agencies, but then we evolve again, we transfer 
our process transfer, our business transfer, our product transfer. We move to uh, land transport, uh, to uh, uh, container shipping, uh, to uh, underwater services. Now Melaha owns more uh, than 100 vessels. Okay. Uh, container vessels, uh, uh, oil tanker vessels, service vessels. Uh, we have uh, ship repair and fabrication, one of the uh, biggest in, in, uh, in the area. Uh, we sell trucks, we sell uh, heavy equipment, we have warehouse, we have logistics. So we also transfer, not just digitally, not just uh, you know, technically, we also transfer uh, as we go to uh, with a new uh, pro uh, new products, new services. Uh, and here, I don't want to uh, bore you up with uh, our technology. So in 1980, we started our first system. Okay, I think it was in 1981. It was the payroll. And as we go, we uh, adopted to a new systems and. Uh, got uh, a new technology uh, and uh, now in the 2021 for example most of our uh, systems are in the cloud uh, we have few systems that are not in the cloud but in 2022 hopefully everything will be in the cloud so we are utilizing the new technology technology as we go okay now as we said why you need to use digital transformation. What is the drivers for that transformation? First of all, we have competition. Uh, there, you know, the market has uh, a lot of competitors, so we have to compete with them. Second is the technology is available. If I don't get the technology, they will get it. The, uh, any kind of technology, it's available. You just have to get it. Okay, so uh, I'll go pass it through uh, uh, our digital transformation map. Actually, it's divided into uh, four areas. Uh, first area is the business and the business automation. Uh, second area is the IT uh, infrastructure. And the uh, third area is the digital uh, culture or the people who are using the systems. And the fourth area is our customers. Okay. So what is the plan is to make sure that we have automated uh, process or automated business, which will produce data. This data can be uh, uh, analyzed and can be uh, made into uh, reports that helps the management make uh, the right decisions, okay? And also uh, we have uh, to make sure that everybody in the, in the company, uh, they have uh, the right tools for communication and collaboration. And of course, uh, we have to have uh, infrastructure, IT infrastructure, and the most important things, we have to have uh, cybersecurity, and we have to make sure that people use uh, the technology in their daily work and they change the way uh, they think about technology and the way they think about uh, how to use systems and all of that just to make sure that our customers are really happy and they have uh, the information uh, and we are transparent uh, uh, with uh, our work for uh, with everybody. So, where are we right now? Okay. If you look at the right side, it will show you where, where are we right now. Uh, again, some of these, for example, customer uh, and shareholder interfaces, uh, some of, of these will always be like this. It's not gonna be 100% because we have customers that really demand from us. Okay. So we will not, we will reach uh, to a point where once we reach there, customer will ask for more. So, which is for, for us is fine because this is how the way we are going to do it is we will 
uh, update ourselves as much as we can. Uh, again, automation, we will do uh, a lot of automation. Uh, you know, communication and collaboration. Uh, as you know, right now, with, uh, with uh, Zoom or with uh, Microsoft Teams or WebEx, uh, there is a lot of, you know, people can communicate uh, in real time. And uh, of course, these companies, for example, Zoom and uh, WebEx and uh, Microsoft uh, Teams, these also have to transfer. Otherwise, they are not gonna be here. And you know there is a big competition coming up from Facebook. If you think about uh, you know what they have introduced about a week ago, there's communication. It will be different in the coming years. Within three to four years, the way we do a presentation, this is will not be going to be the same. You are not just going to see my face and uh, and uh, look at this uh, you know PowerPoint presentation. It's going to be different. It's going to be uh, 3D. It's going to be, uh, you know, uh, realistic more than it is. Okay. So infrastructure, of course, you know, IT infrastructure, we are done uh, because right now, you know, you have to pay for things that you are want you want to use. You don't have to pay things that you don't want to use. You know, because there is uh, internet. I mean, uh, uh, infrastructure as a service, uh, system as a service, platform as a service that you can buy or subscribe to. Okay, uh, you know, you and you pay for only the subscription that uh, you are using. Cybersecurity again is very important, and of course, we cannot uh, be one hundred percent. We are, but we are getting there. Uh, digital culture, of course, this is need to be uh, done. Uh, it takes time for people uh, to change. Okay, so now what is remaining in our steps for uh, to complete the journey? You know, you will see some keywords here. I will just only talk about the keywords. We need better visibility. Yes, we have, uh, you know, uh, provided customers with things, but we still need to do better. We need to have security. We need to have agile projects. Okay? So to continue automation, this is, this is where it's remaining. And I think it will always be remaining because we want better. We want to uh, automate things more. Okay. So of course we have uh, initiatives, uh, for 2021, 2022. Uh, of course, we'll continue automation. Uh, the areas that it does not have automation, we will continue automation. Uh, we will use Power App, uh, which means not only IT can uh, produce or develop systems, also anybody in the company who does not really have uh, IT uh, knowledge can also develop a system and they can also use. And uh, uh, we'll also continue with uh, business intelligence and analytics. We will provide uh, when we are providing our management with the tools uh, to uh, analyze data, to make a better decision. And here we are talking about the RBA. Okay, The question was, where is the RBA for uh, the RBA, uh, which is robotic process automation, uh, Milah has started uh, about uh, two years ago. What we are doing, how we are doing is, wherever we see that there are repetition of things that is done by uh, the user, we can automate that. Okay, so let's say somebody is. Uh, getting an invoice and just type in the invoice into the system. And this invoice goes from here to another person and that person is checking the invoice with the order. And from there it goes to, for example, payment. 
all of these can be automated. We, we can use uh, robotic. Hey, robotic, I don't mean uh, machine. Uh, this is a robotic process, which is system uh, driven. So, and, uh, and uh, freight forwarding, for example, wherever you have things that is uh, repeated over and over and over, it can be automated. Yeah. So uh, ju you just have to study and see what is uh, there that need to be uh, automated. Okay. Uh, at, you know, this is the final slide. And uh, here I said, what is next for Melaha Digital Journey? I, you know, it's not just for Melaha, it's for everybody here. Uh, the journey of digital journey is the same for everybody. The journey will not stop. There is no end for this journey. There is always going to be something in you that you need to change. There is always going to be something in you that you need uh, to get. Uh, otherwise, you will be one of these companies who really miss the opportunity. So keep adopting, using a new technology to provide the best services and tools to your customers, to stakeholders, and to your staff. Okay, so keep adopting, keep don't don't let the journey of the uh, digital transformation stops here. Thank you very much. Uh, anybody have any question? Uh, please, uh, any question? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope uh, it was uh, beneficial, and I, you know, I wish you a very successful uh, digital transformation uh, journey. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Jess, and uh, thank you for the great workshop. Uh, our dear audience, uh, thank you for supporting our event uh, by attending and contributing. We hope you enjoyed the experience and received beneficial information. Uh, hope to see you uh, more in uh, our next workshop. Again, thank you so much, Doctor, for your efforts. Thank you very much. Have thank a nice you. day. Likewise.